well, where was their stepdad when they were perpetrating the felonies? Where was the stepdad when she burnt down the motel? They're not asking that. You know who they're gonna blame? This isn't even a joke, this is just real. They're gonna blame me, the mom. It's always the mom, it's gonna be the mom. Where was the mom when she was cooking meth? Where was the mom? She was shoplifting. <sighs> even I did it the other day, I was at the park and this um, poor little boy got pushed real hard by this mean girl. He hit his face, there's like blood gushing and just instinctually I was like, where is her mother? I mean, it was me, I was the mom, but still, I do it, I do it. I bought some new jeans the other day, and on the button, it said NYDJ. I'd never heard of this company. Guess what it stands for? This is true. Not your daughter's jeans. <laughs> Guys. I accidentally bought mom jeans. <laughs> I bought mom jeans. <sighs> like I'm a mom, but I don't want to look like a mom. It just doesn't sound fashionable. Like I want my style to scream, is she coming from the club or is she going to the club? We don't know, she's so hip and cool. Usually my style does scream, did she work out today or not? Thanks to yoga pants, but <sighs> not your daughter's jeans. Nope, that's basically mom jeans. So, and here's the weird thing, I really like them. <laughs> They're like super cute. I'll probably get rid of them. Um, <laughs> when I became a mom, everybody just assumed I'd be a good mom. <laughs> Being a mom just means I'm bad at contraception. <laughs> I forgot to take that pill. You think I'm going to remember to feed these children? <laughs> I forgot that pill. You think I'm going to remember school is Monday through Friday? I forgot that pill. You think I'm going to remember that their birthdays happen the same day every year? I um, have Pinterest, so I know, like I'm not the best mom. But I watch the news, so I know I'm not the worst mom. And, um, so since my kids are still alive, I've managed to keep them alive. Uh, I've decided I'm like, mm, the okayest mom. I wrote that down, I've never heard that phrase. I thought I had created something new and cute, so I Googled hashtag okayest mom. And when I wrote this, you could already buy the t-shirt the beer koozie and the coffee mug. You can buy it for your mom, but don't, don't do that. She has not spoken to me since Mother's Day. And now I'm very happy to announce she can buy it on the Oklahoma Mom Boutique. Made by me online. It's not the first okayest mom design. It's not the best okayest mom design. It's like the okayest okayest mom design. And I made it just for that joke. <laughs> I did get some parenting advice from the media last summer. They said in order not to like forget a child in the back seat of a hot car, put something important back there with him. <laughs> you know, something more important than that being you created and held in your body for nine months. Find something more important than that. Like your favorite child? <laughs> All right there, June, your mom is gonna need you to sit in the back with your sisters. <laughs> so we don't have another incident. <laughs> incident free summer, everybody. <laughs> I actually cannot forget my last birthing experience, and by last I mean final. HGTV was playing on the birthing suite, and to this day, whenever House Hunters comes on, I have a mild contraction. And you do not want to know what happens when I see a property brother. And those handy twins are everywhere, you guys. Trust me on that. Uh, it was a traumatic delivery. I mean, more traumatic than most. 
And um, my husband's not here tonight, but he does want you to know that of all the people traumatized by this delivery, he was traumatized the most. <laughs> and it was horrible for him, so I'm just passing that along to you on his behalf. My husband had to watch me give birth to our son without a working epidural. And my epidural wasn't working either. <laughs> and it happened to be an emergency C-section. That's just the way it was. That's uh, not a joke, I wish it were. Um, I, I feel like it's my fault though, because like I actually wrote a birthing plan. <laughs> it was real short, it was three letters. O-U-T, out. <laughs> I was naive, I should have said O-U-T, out, <laughs> plus A-L-L, the drugs. <laughs> all, in case you're drunk right now, all the drugs. All the drugs, that was my fault. I did the birthing class and everything. They never said, at some point, your life is gonna become more important than drugs. They never told me that. I found out the hard way. So I had an emergency C-section without a working epidural. Which means, I had an epidural, it just uh, didn't work. Of all the things in this world, that should be infallible. The system that makes it so you cannot feel a human being removed from your body. I feel like that should be like top three. Airbags, condoms, epidurals, infallible. It was pretty traumatic, um, more so for my husband. Uh, and it was all over, and I was holding our son, finally. I looked at him, and I was just so relieved not to be pregnant anymore. And then I looked at my son's face, and then I looked at the floor where my husband's face was. <laughs> Then I looked back at my son and I was like, this is so not worth it. <laughs> People have asked me, are you gonna sue that doctor? Are you gonna sue that doctor that took that child out, made sure he didn't die, and also made sure you didn't die? Are you gonna sue him? No, I'm not gonna sue the doctor who saved my life. Because that doctor gave me the greatest gift. Something that I can hold over my son's head for the rest of his life. He said, uh, the doctor did tell me I should be, you know, healed or whatever in six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks, you'll be back to your old self. My daughter just broke her pinky. Little tiny break. You know what the doctor told her? Six to eight weeks, you know I mean? <laughs> Back to your old self. I'm starting to think doctors lie to us. I really do. Where did they get this six to eight weeks thing? I don't think I believe it. Must be on some TikTok they're all watching or something. <laughs> Just tell them six to eight weeks. Get them out of your office. I have not lost all that weight from that pregnancy, so it's been at least five years, and I'm not healed back up. It was a lie. That was a lie. I, I caught this, um, I think it was like an award show the other day, and guess who was performing? Salt and Peppa. You guys, they were singing this song. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a good man. It sounded better than that, but um, there was this line, and during the line, they did a real close up on, um, I don't know if it was Salt or Peppa's face, I'm not sure, I don't, I get confused. And she said, You so crazy, I want to have your baby. And you could see it in her eyes, she didn't believe it. <laughs> she was not buying it, she was not. And um, Salt and Peppa are both about 65 right now. <laughs> so no, I don't think that's a come online in the retirement homes right now. <laughs> so um, I have rewritten that line for you, and I have three versions to choose from tonight. Instead of, you're so crazy, I want to have your baby. 
How about some slightly more age-appropriate lines like, you so crazy, I wanna feed you gravy. <laughs> yeah. Um, or how about, you so crazy, I'm gonna put you on my social security. <laughs> or how about, um, you so crazy, and just stop right there, because that's way better than the way they had it. <laughs> I, um, I'm actually kind of in a fight with my husband right now. I know I act like I love him a lot. Um, uh, this is true. Six months ago, he tried to leave me. I'm still kind of mad about it. It's not his fault. He did have a massive heart attack and almost died. <laughs> but we had that moment. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm a little mad at him. <laughs> we had that moment. Uh, I got that call from the nurse. Mrs. Miller, your husband's in the ER having a heart attack and he would like to speak to you. Somehow, I don't know how, I held it together. I said the words I needed to say in that moment. It could have been my last conversation. I said, baby, I love you. Everything's gonna be okay. I'll see you again soon. But if I don't, <laughs> what's the Wi Fi password here? <laughs> After the call, I immediately made sure we were up to date on life insurance. <laughs> And he lived happily ever after. He's better now as well. That was completely true. We have talked to so many cardiologists. And it occurred to me, like, talking to a cardiologist is a little bit like talking to a car mechanic. He's like, it's a good thing you brought him in when you did. <laughs> we don't know how many more miles we're left than him. I got in there and I cleaned out his piston cylinders arteries. <laughs> He'll probably still make some funny noises from time to time. <laughs> Don't really know how many more miles he has left in him, so you might consider trading up for a younger model. <laughs> you guys have been great. My name is Nicole Miller.